How far is a journalist responsible for the possibly defamatory things that someone else says? Most journalists spend a large part of their time reporting the words of others, or, in the case of broadcasting, giving others a platform to speak through interviews and discussions. The European Court has considered several cases in which national courts have held journalists liable for statements made by others. The most celebrated case of this type did not involve defamation but hate speech and it concerned the Danish journalist Gerzild. He had made a television documentary featuring a group of neo-Nazi youths. In the course of the film, the subjects made a series of extreme and grossly offensive racist statements. After public complaints, both Gerzild and the subjects of his documentary were prosecuted and convicted under racial hatred laws. In its consideration of the case, the European Court made an observation, often repeated subsequently, about the courts having no role in determining how journalists go about their work. It said, The methods of objective and balanced reporting may vary considerably, depending, among other things, on the media in question. It is not for this court, nor for the national courts for that matter, to substitute their own views for those of the press as to what technique of reporting should be adopted by journalists. The views broadcast were not those of Gerzild himself, but were clearly presented as part of a serious public discussion on the problem of racism. The court therefore held that, taken as a whole, the feature could not objectively have appeared to have as its purpose the propagation of racist views and ideas. On the contrary, it clearly sought, by means of an interview, to expose, analyse and explain this particular group of youths, limited and frustrated by their social situation with criminal records and violent attitudes, thus dealing with specific aspects of a matter that already then was of great public concern. This led the court to its seminal conclusion, which has often been repeated in other cases. The punishment of a journalist for assisting in the dissemination of statements made by another person in an interview would seriously hamper the contribution of the press to discussion of matters of public interest and should not be envisaged unless there are particularly strong reasons for doing so.